My name is Ted Peterzak. I look after technology operations, software development, architecture, and agile practice for Jumo. Jumo is founded with the idea that we will allow people an opportunity to take advantage of their digital footprint about data that, they, that is accumulated on and use that to make available financial choices, uh, particularly in cases where they don't have financial choices available today. Jumo itself was founded in 2015. We're a company of a little over 300 people and we do business in five countries around the world, four in Sub-Saharan Africa and one in Asia. So a great story for us would be a small merchant who's using a Jumo financial product, um, a loan for example, to provide operating capital for their business. Right? It could be as simple as only having to go to their supplier every other day because they have access to, to more operating capital through Jumo, or it might indeed be the capital that lets them buy additional merchandise and use that to derive revenue during the course of the day. Jumo was born in the AWS cloud. We started with an engineering team that had a high degree of familiarity with AWS, and so it was a very obvious fit for us to, to start there. So life without AWS is something that I actually spent some time thinking about because that's kind of my background. Um, I come from companies where but we did spend a lot of time and a great deal of our, our human capital in, in operating data centers and keeping data centers up and running. It's, it's an extraordinary amount of leverage that we get because we don't have to be concerned about things like keeping the machines running, about backup supplies, about physical security for the building, air conditioning, and all of those kind of things. When we have kind of a consistent set of, of services and interfaces and tools that are available for us wherever. So we don't have to worry about staying abreast of developments in more than one cloud provider. In fact, the pace of Amazon Web Services are evolving is pretty remarkable. Because we're concentrated in one cloud, um, we're able to realize the benefits of, of volume discounts. Again, back to this idea of being price sensitive. Uh, and then we, you know, it allows us to have a, a, a nice close working relationship with AWS, which has been incredibly beneficial for us. When we bring people in and we can say to them, hey, we're born in the AWS cloud, Right? We don't have legacy systems to worry about. We don't have legacy integrations. You know, you can see people get excited about that, right? Because they know what that means.